All right, as promised, I'm about to do a benchmark test for my Vertex 3. Uh, I'll start off by showing just how fast this thing reboots. This thing has been the fastest thing that I've ever used, like, ever. It's made my computer, like, a million times faster than it is now, uh, than it was before. Uh, I'm going to post the specs for my computer in the drop-down link, I guess the comment section. I'm using an i7 processor, uh, Sandy Bridge motherboard, all that stuff. The processor is a bit overclocked, it's running at 4.4 gigahertz. There you have it. That's the reboot. Uh, I'm going to start a few things up for you just to show you just how fast they open. It's just like almost instantaneous. I mean, even if I click Call of Duty, this stuff is very, very fast. By far, this is the best investment you will ever make. Alright, I'm also going to be running a couple benchmark tests to show you. Uh, the first one is AS SSD benchmark. I guess it just clocks the speed and all that stuff. I don't think I'm supposed to run them both at the same time, so I'm just going to let this one run a little bit. It takes like maybe a minute or two. I'm going to fast forward and then uh, come back with the results. So I'm going to zoom in here. As you can see already, I got the sequential write and read speed. I have the 120 gigabyte version, and I think the 240 gigabyte version is a bit faster. I'm going to let this run and then come back. Okay, test is done, and there are the results. Very, very fast. Uh, I'm going to be doing another benchmark, and it's called the Crystal Mark Test. Basically, it does pretty much the same stuff, probably in a different format. Maybe a few things here and there that are different. Uh, I'm doing a test run of five times, and each file is going to be 100 megabytes. So this might take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on after it's done. Okay, and it's done. Um, as you can see, results are pretty, pretty good. Uh, I ran it at 100 megabyte files because realistically we're going to be moving smaller files around, so this gives you a more realistic number of how it goes. I also ran, while that was going, a uh, benchmark called ATTO Benchmark. And as you can see, the smaller the file, obviously the slower it goes. And then once you get up to like an 8,000 megabyte file, its numbers really show, really shines. But uh, all in all, this is like a very good SSD, probably the best on the market. I uh, highly recommend it.